Hello Internet and welcome to another Star Citizen video with Haverside. Today we are talking about bounty hunting. Do you want to know how to earn up to 500,000 AUC per hour? If so, then stick around as this video has all you need so that you can have the best start as a new player in your bounty hunting career. We're going to look specifically at how it currently works and how you can make money from it as a new player. And don't panic either, you don't need anything but your starter ship to get started. So do you want to be a bounty hunter? Or perhaps you just want to make money in Star Citizen? If so, then join me as we get right down to it and explore the bounty hunting profession and how to earn glorious AUEC. Are you ready? Let's go. This guide assumes that you have learned the basics of movement and flying to get around the verse. If you are a new player and need some guidance on this, then do be sure to check my series using the new player info card above. Do be sure to check out this channel's giveaway, which is currently giving away a C8R Pisces Rescue with code blue paint and lifetime insurance. Links are in the description and be sure to subscribe for future giveaways. Whoa, bounty hunter, hold on just one minute. I understand your eagerness to head out and hunt those targets, but you need to know some basic information before you get going, so you can ensure that you are working efficiently and also ranking up through the esteemed ranks of the Bounty Guild and relevant security agencies. This in turn will improve your earnings, which is a win-win, and why else would you be here if not to learn about this? You are going to want to improve your reputation with one main group first, which is the Bounty Hunting Guild. This is the group that will dictate what missions you have available to you. On top of this, you'll want to pick a group like Crusader Security or Hurston Security to also complete missions for. Completing missions for a specific group will increase the payouts that you get and also the types of missions that are made available to you. The higher your reputation level, the better your missions and the payouts will be. So let's take a look at the Bounty Hunter Guild first. Open up your Moby Glass using the F2 button and head over to the Delphi tab, which is the far right tab. And this is the reputation panel. The Bounty Hunter Guild has seven ranks, levels, tiers, or whatever you want to call them. And each rank provides you with a specific perk, which in this case is a license or permit to run missions relating to its rank, with a higher degree of difficulty as your increase in rank. To increase each rank, you just need to complete bounty hunting missions until you have completed enough and gained enough experience to obtain a new rank, at which point a new rank will be achievable by completing a permit or license mission once the reputation requirement has been met, and that mission will appear in your bounty hunting tab of the contracts menu. You can complete the mission by accepting it, paying its fee, and going and killing the target that it wants you to kill. Once that's done, you have then unlocked the new missions, and each rank up opens increasingly more difficult missions as you go up the ranks. Now let's take a look at Crusader Security specifically, but Hurston Security, the police force around Hurston, also have their own ranks of reputation which provide bonuses as well. Whether you work for Crusader or Hurston Security, at this time the bonuses received are exactly the same no matter which you pick. In most cases, you will naturally increase this rank by completing bounty missions in the relevant area, Crusader or Hurston, and they do not require a special mission to increase its rank. Over time, running missions, it will increase on its own accord, rewarding you with the benefits of the corresponding rank once it's reached, in which case it will increase the bounties that you receive because you're getting a percentage increase to the bounties gained per mission. Earning AUEC from bounty hunting in the very early levels will be very small in comparison to the other methods that you will earn later on, but the aim of the game is to grind your reputation values up as quickly as possible to unlock extra missions, higher ranks and much better earnings. Until you reach the rank of extreme risk target missions, or ERTs as they're called, I'd very much not fixate or think about your earnings as the big bucks don't come in until you hit ERT missions. You will of course will be earning AUEC even with the lower ranked missions, but always ensure that you accept the call to arm missions in your contracts which awards an extra 500 AUEC for each pirate you terminate, and this does add up over time. As you can see, the missions do award varying amounts of AUEC depending on which mission you have, so as you progress you will earn more just by completing bounties. The aim of the game here is to unlock group bounty missions and ERTs to achieve a good 500 AUC per hour just from running bounties. So let's get started. Whilst it is completely possible to run bounty hunting missions with your starting pledge ship, 
Let's be honest, it's not going to be fast, and ships like the Aurora and Mustang, or even the Cutter, have very little in terms of real firepower. And whilst they are very capable ships, I'd recommend we obtain a ship that is faster and has a bit more firepower to help us speed us along the bounty hunting venture. We're going to acquire the Constellation Andromeda. It's a multi-function, multi-crew ship from Robert Space Industries. And whilst it's a multi-crew ship, we don't need to worry about that because the pilot seat has an extensive weapon array and it has the capacity to deal great damage and take out ships. It's a great ship for a new player. With four size five turrets and an assortment of missiles, you can be a target to fear. And thank you to Stefan for pointing this information out to me. Thank you so much. To acquire it, we're gonna need 80,000 AUEC starting cash to do this. So we're gonna run whichever missions you feel comfortable with doing this to obtain the money as fast as you can. I personally would recommend that you run the Unauthorized Surveillance Detected mission, which is available around the Crusader area of Stanton. It awards 20,000 AUEC and takes less than 5 minutes of work to complete. And all you need to do is do it once and do it up to 5 times to get 100,000 AUEC. That will then cover the 80,000 we need to get the ship rented for a day and with a bit of spare cash to go with it. You can obtain this mission from the Mercenary tab once you are in the Crusader area of Stanton. This mission is easy to run, involves you shooting three hostile stationary monitors that don't move, they're just easy to kill. And whilst you're there, there are hostile ships, but they are easy to avoid. All you got to do is destroy the three monitors and you are done. In 3.18, the mission has been buffed, according to the PTU from my last tests, and there are more hostiles to worry about, but you don't really need to worry about them anyway. Just keep moving, power to your shields or your weapons, and go and destroy the monitors and get out. Once you've done and earned your money, you can just carry on with this guide. Once you have the cash that you need, head on over to a planet, be it Orison Norville or wherever you pick, and find the rental kiosk. I've picked Orison because I'm in Crusader anyway, and in a 3.18 you don't have to worry about the massive atmosphere because they have reduced it, so this is just something to bear in mind if you're watching this in 3.18. Rent the ship for 24 hours only, so we're looking for the Constellation Andromeda which will be under the RSI tab. If you rent it for any longer than 24 hours, it won't let you because you've only made 100,000 AUEC at this point and you need more than that for the longer terms because it is bugged so just always pick one day and select it you can see here that it is showing a much higher figure than it announced so just pick one day and accept it that's just under 80,000 and we are good to go we will then have a ship that we need to do bounties to get us started awesome stuff Okay, so now you are ready to run some bounties. For the purpose of this, I would recommend that you base yourself out of Port Olazar next to the Orison, which is in Crusader. Because of this, we will be doing bounties in the Crusader area, and the missions literally will appear on Yella, Selin, or Daymar. So it's ideal to base out here. We don't have to land or go into any or into atmosphere within Orison, and it just allows us to refuel, rearm, and repair should we ever need to. Interact with the ship's elevator to bring it down, and then interact with the ship's elevator floor to let it go back up. When you enter the constellation, it's awesome. I love this blue, uh, blue outlook. It's just awesome with the power off. Uh, once you're ready, get into the, the pilot seat and you can then engage the ship, make it flight ready with R, just like any normal ship. If you need to adjust the ship's power controls, you can do this using the interactive pad on the left hand side of the console, or you can use the F5 to 8 keys. If you're using the pad on the console, you can just literally click to adjust it to more power to weapons or to shields or to the actual engines. I would recommend just leaving this on default for the constellation. It works fine for the purpose of what we're doing. You can adjust it with F5, F6, F7 or reset the, the actual settings using F8 as well. Now let's go hunting bounties. But to do this first, we need to activate bounty hunting and make bounty hunting missions accessible to us. So the first mission that we're gonna have, and the only one we're gonna have, is this tracker training permit certification. Accept it, and we're gonna go find this target and kill it. 
It will be somewhere within the verse, so you need to make sure that it's local, ideally within Crusader. You can accept and decline it should you wish to, just to change the location. But once you've got approached it, you can select the target with T, and then just shoot the hell out of it. The first target really isn't really a problem. Focus on the target only, and once it's dead, you have unlocked bounties. You can now accept bounty missions and make some money. So now when you open up your contracts menu and head to the bounty tab, you will now see bounty hunting missions. So we're going to have the VLRT missions, which is the very low risk targets available to you first. I've unlocked practically all of them because I've already ranked up my reputation. So you'll just need to accept your very first VLRT. It will be somewhere in Crusader. So it will be on a planet around Daymar or on the planet or even over in Selin or in the asteroid belt around here. Uh, yellow or on the planet so it can be anywhere you just need to head over to the actual location and Get ready to blow up the target Whenever you're doing bounty hunting missions, there's only one thing you need to do and that is kill the target Always there will be friends of the hostile with him Just ignore them. They're not worth worrying about focus on the target you are there to kill Once you have killed it. It's just a matter of getting out of the location so you can then start the next target, or next mission should I say. There's only ever one target, so once it's dead, we've done our mission, and we can then accept another mission and go in another, well, bounty. So we're just approaching the target now for the very first mission that we've accepted for our bounty. The ships have just appeared. You can press the T button to select a ship. You need to find the right target first. You can initiate missiles by changing the selection of weapons with the middle mouse button and add more missiles to your salvo by pressing G multiple times. I've selected four here. I am not locked up for this target. I will fire my missiles. You don't have to use missiles, but once they're fired, I middle mouse button again to change back to my guns, and I just literally use the five guns this Andromeda has and just, well, shoot him to hell. I am certainly no expert when it comes to flying ships, and if you've seen my other videos, you know full well that I can quite often crash blow up just by, well, flying, so... The fact that I can do this means that even you can do this. We're in a powerful ship. Just lock up the ship, target it, kill it. Bounty hunting is as simple as this. Something to be mindful of when you're doing bounty hunting missions is that not always will the target be above a point of interest or within a location that is easily accessible. Sometimes, like this mission here, I've arrived at my point of interest but the target is a good 115 odd so kilometers away. Thankfully, there is a target notification bit on our HUD so we know exactly where it is. It's just a matter of traveling over which will take a moment, a few minutes to do and once I'm there, I can then arrange the target's elimination. If you do have a bit of travel like this, you can come up, up out of the planet's atmosphere to get a bit more speed, which will help you get to the location a little bit faster. This is just one of those things, these missions can occur, so it's just worth being aware of it. Now you know how to run bounty hunting missions. It really is this simple. Find the target, kill it. It's just that easy. So now you know how to do that the grind begins you need to now re level up your reputation with the bounty hunting guild to rank up to the next tiers so you need to keep an eye out in your bounty hunting journal for the missions that will rank you up so you're looking for the permit name with certification in the mission name so for example the journeyman tracker certification that will then allow you to complete the mission and rank up to the next one you need to work hard at this and raise up your reputations to increase your payouts and get better missions. It's worth doing. Once you've unlocked your extreme risk targets from the Master Tracker license, you can start earning big, big money. Once you've unlocked high risk target missions, you may find in your Moby Glass Contracts Manager uh, an actual mission called the Pro Tem Group Warrant Contract. It's a mission from the Northrop Group, and this mission is a mission that allows you to unlock group bounties, which are effectively a group mission, but you can do them solo with the right ships. They're a mission that allow you to run around the Crusader area or wherever you are and kill three targets for a large amount of AUEC plus any bonuses. So is very much worth doing and it has a 45 minute timer but you should be aiming to do these within 10 minutes you do need the right ships for this as i said uh, but it is something you will want to unlock for later on 
once uh, you've unlocked it, you've unlocked it forever. So just bear it in mind, look out for it and do unlock it. So now you know how to bounty hunt. So get out there and grind until you've earned 3.5 million AUEC so you can purchase this beast, the Aegis Eclipse. It's a stealth bomber with Cyrus 9 torpedoes, the biggest in the game currently, which can literally one shot every ship in the game. It's an agile ship, it's fun to fly and just a beast that can chew through bounty hunting missions extremely fast. You wanted to know how to earn up to 500,000 AUEC per hour and this is the beast what you're going to need to earn it alongside ranking up your reputation and bounty hunting missions. It is completely viable with group bounties paying over 100,000 per mission once you've ranked up your reputation with your security force and the bounty hunting guild. Run five of these missions an hour and you're going to be rolling in more AUC than you know, know what to do with. So you're going to want to know more about this ship and I recommend now that you know how to run bounties that you take the time to watch my next video so you can learn all about the Aegis Eclipse. You can watch that video by clicking the card above or the end card link which will be right up in a moment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.